Hey folks, Stacy here, I'm sit on the hill. After my earlier attempts at trying to get a fire going, I've flamed out, so to speak. I decided to uh, take my uh, instant barbecue. It's a Cassis grill. And I'm going to uh, have a little outdoor barbecue, see if that works. And um, I cooked bacon on this inside and it's got bacon fat on it. So I figured, hey, best way to clean it, burn it. So I'm just gonna burn it. <laughs> so while I'm waiting for this charcoal to burn, oh man. While I'm waiting for this to burn down a bit, I'm just gonna do some smokies. Do you know that it's actually phys physically impossible for somebody to pick these up and not go like this? It's absolutely impossible. Let's see. Warm up my buns, so to speak. That's why you have a handy knife. Right on the cheese. Oh, yes, please. Let's get this. Check it, guys. I'm gonna grill that up. Put that ready for dinner tonight. Different tongs, food safe. I drizzled it with olive oil and uh, put a bit of uh, veggie rub on it. That's good. Anything tastes better when you're eating outside, cooking over a fire. Love it. see Ooh, look at that beauty and oh this one here let's put the skin side down so we'll leave this skin side down this has got a nice little hatch on it so we'll put that and that over here and over here what do you think of that okay we'll let them cook for a minute old-fashioned about some things but one thing I'm not old-fashioned about is internal temperature of chicken when I'm cooking it climbing wish I had my thermopro with me it's more it's a little quicker 147 148 149 Slow one down, it's 150. So leave that on there for a minute. Just let that cook slowly. Yeah, I know, I worry them too much. Oh, hear that sound? That was a, uh, a pileated, pileated woodpecker. Just letting it cook a little bit more. Looking for an internal temperature of 165. 170, 180. Something like that. <clears throat> Good. Not the prettiest looking chicken, but hey, it's cooked over an open fire. Good fun. That's, uh, that's it for another week of Homestead on the Hill. Like and subscribe, folks. See you soon, next week.